I'm here with Candy Cooper and she has brought this really cute project. I love how you always take something messy like paint pouring, which we're going to do, and make it actually look so clean and neat and tailored. Yeah, well, I'm all about balance, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this whole project started because I love the um, symbolism of bears. And when I was looking at these paint pouring samples, I was like, these are almost like faux stone. Oh yeah, You know totally. what I mean? So I brought that little stone bear along just to tell you, you know, just kind of show the comparison of the swirly stone. So we're gonna make our own I'm ready. faux stone. I love paint pouring. All right, so you can use like any acrylic paint. Then we're gonna use this kind of additive mm -hmm. that thins your paint down. This is originally used to um, like get rid of brush strokes. Oh, okay. Because most paints are obviously not particularly pourable. They're just too thick. Right. And it's, you can grab it at the hardware store, like no big deal. And then you're gonna mix it up. And what you wanna kind of look for is a real drippy paint. You know this. If it's not, you can always add a little dab of water and mix that around. And then you wanna stir it until it's a nice consistency, right? Now, I feel like I'm a little late to the paint pouring party. Like, I'm, I'm pretty new to all of this, and I'm like, okay, You're never goes. late to a paint pouring party. You're always right on time. But we're gonna do a dirty pour. Okay. And so, um, all that means is just you're gonna mix and match your colors. A, a splash of this color. I'm using a little bit of my color skills. Like, I'm not huge into if it's gonna make mud when right. I mix it all together, I tend to avoid that, I've found. So well, I the nice thing too is this is actually a great way. If you have leftover paint in one of your paint jars and you just need to coax it out, you add a little mixative to get it to pour, right. and you can do a process like this to use it up. Or if you've just finished a painting session and you're looking for something to do with your leftover paint. The painting session is a great idea, Julie. The other thing I wanted to mention is I have been mixing and matching metallics with flats. I noticed that these are kind of shiny. <laughs> you know? You know my philosophy on life. <laughs> you cannot have enough sparkle. So um, once you're happy with all of your colors and you've used up um, all of your paint, we are going to pour it on this chipboard. Chipboard comes, um, my little package had black, white, brown. Mm -hmm. You pick your color. You can also use the back of a pad of paper as chipboard. Yep. You can use what? packaging, cereal boxes, all that kind of stuff. Right. So, and then I kind of dab it with an X. Some people add silicone to theirs to um, bring out the cells with mm -hmm. a torch. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep it really low tech. And we're going to put that on top. Here goes nothing, Ooh. Julie. <laughs> Hold your breath. It's funny that it's called paint pouring because it's really paint dumping. Yeah, and what you would really want to do is let this sit for a minute, go get a cup of coffee, and then that way all your paint at the oh, top can drop down. Out. But we're going to just get right to it, and we're going to let the paint roll. You know, I've never heard that tip before. That is a fantastic tip. Yeah, and then you maximize all your paint, right? Then we're gonna roll Whoa, this guy look around. look at those metallics. And you even got some cells without the silicone. Without the silicone. But yeah, that torch trick where you bring out the, you know, on the next Make It Artsy, right? There you go. <laughs> we'll Torches light it on paint. fire. Yeah. Torches and paint, playing with fire. So anyway, you would just roll this around until you had a completely covered I'll piece. I'll take that for Can me. Can I just give all of that to you? Yeah. We probably don't need this mat anymore either. Okay, I'll take it on. Perfect, just to play it safe over there. So now we've got the perfect canvas I'll to, that too. thank you, to start cutting um, our pieces into shape. We're gonna just use a die cutting machine. Obviously on a dried one. On a dried one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Julie, I can't be trusted when I get into you know, creative I've mode. I've been known to get excited and then you want to go ahead with it before you're really ready. Yeah, that or the pressure of a deadline. Yes, <laughs> deadlines are very effective. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, see, I'm, I'm trash in the place with my bracelets too. <laughs> so I mentioned earlier, bears have like a ton of symbolism and symbolism um, that's why I went with that. But you could cut your spirit animal, you know what I mean, too. So now you would want to seal this with an acrylic varnish. Okay. And then let's cut some pieces to go on top of our bear. So awesome. we're going to switch up the type of dye. I was going to say, are these burlap or something like yeah, that? They totally, feel really cool and textural. Totally different. So you can um, use burlap, you can use leather, denim. And those are magnetic dyes. I can hear them clicking into place there. Totally magnetic. You're just going to run these through. Just put your cutting pad in place. Roll it through, and these just cut through this kind of weird, thick burlap paper. Yeah, Lickety -split. it's really, really neat. Can you hand me some scissors, Julie? Yes, I can. Here and you I'll go. take some of that adhesive. So now you're just going to line up your pieces however you want. 
it's nice because die cutting gets you the shape close to, and then with some scissors you can make a couple tweaks and then go on with your bad self, you know? Thank you. We were just talking about uh, doing nails and stuff like this, and this totally <laughs> reminds me actually, doesn't it, of like a, a nail brush. Speaking of nails, this is some good stuff, so be really careful that you don't get it on your fingers. <laughs> or you, at the bare end, you will be permanently bonded. For real. And so now, um, let's see, 30 seconds, you're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and- Do you have to press on it or anything like that? You probably should, you probably should. Okay, well why don't I hold this hold down, down and while it's drying for 30 seconds, you can go ahead and well, let's do it. cut the next thing. I'm gonna cut some letters. So now, because these do, the bear has such great symbolism, especially in like Native American cultures, um, I made mine say courage, but you could do brave, strength, um, anything. You could put a name for somebody's name. room. You could do a holiday. You could certainly do some kind of wedding thing. I know a lot of people who have all kinds of interesting animal themes for parties and things like that. Birthday parties especially. Birthday parties especially. It's a great way to personalize your art. Well, I also think the thing that's so fun about making art is the ability to personalize it. Like, yes. if you can find it in a store, why would you ever make it? You want to make something because only could it have been made <laughs> by you and your hands and your style, you know, that's the way right. that you want. That's right. So I just used, I don't know if you caught that. I changed up my platform to use these thinner paper dies because okay. um, I'm cutting oh, that's right, my letters. right, because we were cutting this really thick chipboard and then the burlap and now we're going to paper, which is obviously we're totally switching different. Over. I've already got some ready for us, but oh, you okay. can see how this just pops all these letters. You just pop them right out of your, of your paper. Some are on my other cutting pad, but so easy to get exactly what you're meaning out. Well, I was gonna say, and this is already stuck down, and now if we just grab some dry adhesive, right, yeah, for these gonna, letters. Yes, this is some nifty stuff. So this one, that one says be brave, this one says courage, but how this works is you just peel back your, this is like a sticker paper, and then all these little dots of adhesive are on this, and then you just spell out your word. And this is also really handy because you can um, kind of see your spacing, right? Right. Because when you get into letters and centering and all of that, it's kind of scary, right? I think. Um, and I think the best way to approach it is to not overthink it, which we I all do. I agree, don't overthink it, just play with it. So you just seal it, you're gonna rub it. Those dots of adhesive are only gonna transfer to the areas of, of the letter, to the letters. They're not gonna go on any of the insides. It's amazing. So we'll do that step last. Okay. Let's do that last. So now, I like to get the bear in place first. Now we can use some strings to wrap or tie our embellishments on, like I did feathers, you can anchor it with a little hole in the bear. And then to secure it all down, we are going to just... I'm impressed you got that through on the first try. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. I am too, but I make jewelry, you know, so this okay, is like so second used nature. To it. There you go. So then let's just anchor this up. We can tie a little feather okay. at the top, whatever. Okay. And then we're gonna use that same adhesive to stick the bear to our canvas or block or whatever okay. we're using or chipboard. So just if I start to help you finish this project, I you wouldn't can be see sad about obviously it. <laughs> <laughs> there's no adhesive anywhere. And this board actually has some little lines in it which will allow me if I want to line things up, which I think is really cool. But there you go. Those little dots are right on there. And if we look at the finished one, we can see all of that embellishing. I love the painted feather. I Isn't think that's that such a nice touch. Thank you. Really Paint fantastic. Pens. This is a super fun project, and you can do so much with what you make. Thanks, Candy. Thank you, Julie.